The Northern Lights making a rare appearance here in SoCal, and there's another chance, well, you might get to see them tonight. Our Juan Fernandez is joining us here with a rare glow, a rare look of this glow. That's right, and sky. if you're lucky, you're going to get a chance to see them, Chauncey. This incredible phenomenon was visible in the IE across the U.S. all the way to the East Coast. We are in what scientists call a solar maximum period, and the results did not disappoint. Stunning skies filled with pinks, purples, and blues. They are the northern lights, coming from a surge of solar activity from outer space. The result when gases on the sun explode violently, causing these amazing pops of color. Once the sun went down, that was, that was the hour. That was the time, you know, um, 8 o'clock. You know, be there, hope that you're going to see something, and it was magical, and it happened. Brandy Carlos, a.k.a. Fire Photo Girl on social media, is a freelance photographer and photojournalist and says she took these stunning photos with her iPhone in and around Barstow. It's actually easier that way. The iPhones, um, they're incredible. They allow a lot of a lot of light in and you just got to point your phone and take a long exposure anywhere from three to 10 seconds. And yeah, it, it captures so much. This time around, the solar storm was powerful enough for the northern lights to be visible in the skies over Southern California, from the Big Bear Bald Eagle camera to Maine, Massachusetts, and New Jersey. Solar winds sent to Earth traveling at speeds of up to 2.5 million miles per hour. Space scientists say they can forecast these storms, but as to how much will be visible is unknown. If you get lucky, you get lucky. What happens is they had multiple substorms, um, which so you'll see it and then it'll go away and then it'll come back, um, but it does linger. So if you just kind of point your phone in the sky and you look around, you can actually see it on your phone. These solar storms can be damaging to our infrastructure, satellite, power grid operators, and even the White House get noticed when the forecast is just right. There are concerns that solar activity could interfere with communication efforts being coordinated on the ground in response to Hurricane Milton. Storms like this affect those systems, and if they're not accounted for, they can cause problems. We're already receiving some reports from the activity yesterday, how it caused some uh, precision GPS systems with some aviation entities out there. We're still trying to sort that out. The power grid, we're going to try to learn from them if they had any impacts from the storm. They most certainly did with the storm in May. Scientists say the solar activity cycles every 11 years or so, and right now we are at a solar maximum. So seeing the northern lights could last into next year and 2026. So keep your eyes on the sky. Well, SoCal may be too far south to see the northern lights tonight. We also have a thicker marine layer, and that could get in the way of that dazzling display. But as we always like to say, it's still possible. I'm Juan Fernandez. John C. Now back to you. All right, Juan. Thank you. Lord.